Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today obviously is going to be a March haul of everything I got Disney but it's going to be with a bit of a twist. So this month is going to be a March haul of just Primark stuff because I think it was like last week I was like what am I going to film? Like I haven't really bought anything this month. I bought stuff from the Disney store but I'll do that in a separate video. But I hadn't like bought anything like anything else because obviously I'm going to Florida in a few weeks like I don't want to spend loads of stuff like I want to buy stuff in America so I was kind of being like good and then then it just happened like Primark came out with such good stuff this month so today's video is going to be a March haul of Primark merchandise yeah because it's just been amazing the last few weeks I have to show you everything I bought and I'm excited to show you because it's literally unreal so before we get started I'll show you what I'm wearing obviously Disney ears as usual and then this top which is from Primark stripey with, with the cute mini in the corner with the bow I've actually featured this in February haul I think I bought this in but now I'm wearing it in this one. So let's get started. I don't even know where to start because I've got such good stuff to show you this time. So everything you're gonna see is from Primark. Most of it is from the store Primark Marble Arch, which is in London on Oxford Street. So first up is this notebook. I needed a notebook for when I send people things, like when people win my giveaways, I wanna write cute notes. and didn't have like Disney paper to write on and I didn't wanna wait all the way to Walt Disney World. So I bought this one from Primark. It's got Minnie and Mouse on it, as you can see. She's got a glittery bow and a glittery dress and the inside looks like this. So it's just got hearts in the corner and a little Minnie in this corner as well. I'll show you up close. There's also a pencil or a pen, I think it is, to go with it, but I didn't get that because I have a nice Hong Kong pen that my friend just brought me back and it goes so well with this notepad. So I picked this up. Next up is something quite new that I only saw this weekend. It was behind the counter of my Primark. There was two left, so I had to pick one up. And it is this. It's a flounder money box. So obviously from the Little Mermaid range, and it says Disney Princess on it. And, and yeah, he looks like this. He's quite a big size. I don't know if I'd actually use him for a money box. I think he's just great for, like, as an ornament to go with all the other merchandise that I've got. But yeah, I mean, I had to pick him up. He's so cute and he's new. And as soon as I see anything Disney in Primark, I'm like, I need it, I need it. And I can't even stop myself. But Flounder goes great with this new merchandise that came out at Primark recently. It's a door hanger and it says Mermaids Only. I actually got this gifted to me from my friend Ross on Instagram. If you've seen my Instagram stories, you'll see he gave it me as part of a package that he sent me, which I'll talk about in my Disney store video. So Flounder and Ariel go really well together. They're bringing out a lot more stuff. Obviously, it was a lot of Beauty and the Beast, but this month there is a hell of a lot of new stuff. So we've got Flounder and Ariel. I'll show you these up close. So the Flounder money box was £8. And the mermaids only door hanger was £2.50. So that's a great deal there. The the notepad that I showed you before, I took the price off so I can't actually remember how much it was. It might have been £3. I don't think it'll be 5 I think it's maybe 3 but I can't remember. So yeah, these two are starting off my collection. <sighs> Half of the stuff is in this bag. The rest of it is just on the floor because there's just so much of it. So yeah, I'll show you what else. As usual, they've come back with a new chip mug. Obviously Beauty and the Beast does so well from Primark. The chip gate that happened last year for the purse and the normal chip mug was mad as well as with the Mrs. Potts that comes along with it. So they bought out a new chip mug and it says it's called a chip bubbles mug. And he's literally got this cute little face because he's blowing bubbles and there's bubbles on the back of him as well. So I'll show you this guy up close. I've actually taken him out of the plastic box and he's such good quality, he's really cute and he goes really well with the Mrs. Potts teapot if anyone got that. This little guy was £5. It's in my store, there's quite a few. They said they sent them to like all stores like the other Friday. A few days later I went in, there was none left. But I went to Marble Arch today guys and there was so many so if you ever need any, head to London because there's just so much there. So if any of you watched my last YouTube video for February Disney haul, you would have seen all the Alice in Wonderland purses that I bought. So I bought the Drink Me bottle, the March hair, the White Rabbit, and the Cheshire Cat, and they are just adorable. Everyone went mental for them. And since I've got them from the London store, I haven't seen them anywhere. They never came to my local. And since I've been back in London, I haven't seen them except for the Cheshire Cat. So I went to London today to pick up this guy. 
How flipping cute! Oh my gosh, I was so excited. So he is a shoulder bag or a crossbody bag. He comes with this silver um, metal chain that goes across him. And he's furry, like he's super, super soft. Like a lot better quality than I thought he was going to be. He's got a glittery nose and he's huge. Like the back of him looks like this. So he's quite a big size in the back and he's got a little bobble on the tail there for opening up the zip. And you probably can't fit loads in there but I think in Disney World this is going to look adorable. Like I just can't get over it, it's like my favourite thing. I'm so happy I got him. And there was quite a few in the Marble Arch store as well. They were hidden, but there was quite a few there. And I've not seen him in any other store. I know people have. The ones I've been to, I've not seen him in any other store local to me. So I got the white rabbit. So now I think my collection's complete. Like, I... Oh, God, I sound like Ariel. So today I saw loads of new jewellery for the Alice in Wonderland. They had a drink me bottle uh, necklace and they had earrings as well if you follow me on instagram i've posted a picture on there my instagram is at disney jemmy d i will link it below so you can go have a look i didn't actually pick up any of the jewelry this time but it's on my instagram if you wanted to see what it looked like and if i can i'll pop a picture in here so you can see what it looks like next up from primark is a purse and it is the new tinkerbell purse so they brought out the other one which had like dark in the background and tinkerbell in the middle looking really cute which i've got i bought out this new one which is like a spring color it's like baby pink and it's got flowers on it and it's, and it's got glittery silver as well i think this is great for spring so i had to pick this one up as well and this one was five pound So the March hair bag was £10 to buy. So £10 for one of these guys and you can look super cute in Alice in Wonderland. I can't wait, can't wait to take him to the spinning teacups in Magic Kingdom. I'm going to wear him with all the purses. I've literally got so many bags, like Danielle and Nicole bags I've got and all the Primark ones. I'm going to be like having to change my outfits like every day. Next, we've got something a little bit different. We've got some stick-on false nails. So I've done a video previous where I showed you all the four um, themes that they brought out. So Dalmatians, Little Mermaid nails, um, Disney villain nails, and just Minnie Mouse nails. And they've now come out with a Beauty and the Beast range of nails. They are £3 and they look like this. So as you can see, they've got a Mrs. Potts on one and a chip on the other. And obviously just the gold and red range with some roses on two of the nails. They're adorable. Like, they are so pretty. They also had eyelashes to match. So they also did Bambi nails and Bambi eyelashes. So I've got a picture of that on my Instagram as well. So if you want to see that, then check out the link below. I didn't pick up the lashes because I wasn't sure if I'd wear them. I'm a bit funny with lashes. I don't, I don't know if the quality would be good, but I picked up the nails so they can go with the other collection that I've got. Primark have also bought out a Beauty and the Beast rose brush and it's just a makeup brush. It looks like a red rose. I'm going to post that on my Instagram as well. I didn't get that because I don't need it. I have so many makeup brushes. They've also bought out a Beauty and the Beast brush set and there's like maybe five or six in there. They are like similar colour to this, they're like baby pink and they look super cute and I'll also post that on my Instagram as well so you can see them. So unless you've been living under a rock in the Disney community, you would have seen that Primark have bought out a new Marie range and everyone has gone mad for it. Like we've been waiting for it to come for so long. I popped into my local the other day thinking, oh, they're not going to have anything, they never get anything good. And boy was I mistaken. Look what I picked up in my local store. So to start off with, it is this marie trinket dish i don't know if you guys remember but i also got a chip trinket dish i don't know if i ever filmed it but i got a chip trinket dish it's very similar to marie this one was five pound i'll show you this one up close so i've taken marie out of the plastic because you couldn't really see with the reflection of the light so this is what the marie trinket dish looks like so she's fairly small and you can just pop your little jewellery in there and just sit her on the top and she looks super cute, especially along with the rest of the home range that I'm going to show you. Next from the new Marie range is, is the Marie Money Box. So they are going mad with the Money Box at the minute. Obviously we've got our flounder one, we've got this one and we've got another one which I'm going to show you. This one's really cute, like the detailing is amazing. She looks exactly like Marie because I know there are some Maries that look a little bit weird like... And because obviously it's Primark, you think, oh, it might not be Disney, but it looks so, it, she looks really good. So this Marie money box was £8 as well, same as the flounder. And she's quite a big size. You can put the money in at the top up there. 
and she's obviously got her little pink bow the detailing is really good and I'll show you her up close so you can see her she's quite a good size this is the size of her if you can see she's not she's not a bad size at all So I picked up the money box and the trinket dish and the last thing I picked up from the range was the thing I picked up was the marine mug and she is a huge mug and she's so cute I just had to get her like you know you know what I'm like I buy things I don't need them like do I need all these money boxes no that's what I mean I'm gonna keep them for like display obviously I'm not gonna just put money in them I'm gonna keep them and they're gonna look cute so I got to the mug as well and the mug was the mug was six pound so the prices for these things guys are like so good So I did fall in love with the whole range so I had to pick up those three things but they also had in the range a cushion, Marie frame where you can put your face in it and it looks like Marie, like the outside of it is designed like Marie and also a Marie mug, another one different to this one as well. You can see all of those on my Instagram, I have posted them over there. But these three guys were the ones that I decided to choose from this collection. I'm thinking most people have these in their stores now. I've seen a lot of people post about them and a lot of people go a bit like mental over them. They kind of want them. So if you've got any of the Marie range, then let me know below. If you've got any of the range that I've showed you so far, let me know. I love hearing what you guys have and I love seeing what you guys have and seeing how you design it and style it into your home. The next range that I'm gonna show you is very similar to the Marie range. They bought out a brand new range. So Primark had been so great and stepped away from Beauty and the Beast and obviously given us Little Mermaid stuff, Marie and Alice in Wonderland stuff. And now they've also bought out Aladdin Genie merch. So this is a Genie frame. So this is very similar to the Marie one I was telling you about with the shape of the face and you, and you can put your face in there where it has the Genie's face. I've got a cute picture of me and the Genie when I met him in Disneyland Paris so I could put that in there. I think that would be a really nice idea. This frame was only £4 as well so bargain. Like if you're going to have pictures with the characters in Disneyland or Walt Disney World then it's great to get these character frames and you can put a picture of you and that character in there. So along with the frame from Primark, they've also bought out a whole new amazing range. So I was just in London today and I was going in to pick up the White Rabbit um, crossbody bag and I came across the best stuff ever. So included in this range is another money box. Obviously Primark are going mental with the money boxes at the minute. We are being spoiled. There's just so much stuff coming out all at the same time and I'm just like, ah, I don't need it all but I need it all. Like I don't need it all but I need it all. Ah. Because if I don't buy it now, it will literally go. Like, that is how Primark works. If you don't buy it, it is gone. So if any of you guys are watching from America, and I know you do, so hi guys, stateside. If you don't buy this stuff, it goes like that. The amount of people that sell it on eBay, sell it online, like, it just goes. So I picked this up. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it. Don't really know why I picked it up. But, you know, if it's Disney, I've got to have it. So it's obviously another money box, this time it's the genie and it's shaped like the lamp. I've always wanted a lamp, like when I watched the film I was like, I wish I had a magic lamp. And I used to go to Disney and I could never find one. So I picked this one up. He was £8 as well and I will show you him up close so you can see what he looks like. So I've taken him out of the box so that you can see what he looks like. All the new, um, all the new money boxes, they have this like really nice new smell about them they remind me of when i used to get like plastic toys from the disney store or like from any toy store and that's what they smell like really weird but i love the smell of them so this is what he looks like so you can see for size reference Once again, Primark smashing it with the money boxes. I just want to sit them all out and make them all look cute together. So, yep, I got this one as well. Now, the next one I'm going to show you is the best one. There was two left in store when I got there. Obviously, I got this one and there was one left. Like, they must have all gone within a day. This is what I'm saying. It's crazy. But it is this. So, this is obviously the magic genie lamp in gold. So it looks like an actual genie lamp that they have in the film, but this one's actually a teapot. So like the Mrs. Potts teapot, they bought out an Aladdin lamp teapot, guys. What? So this teapot's actually quite heavy and he's very big as well. And the price of him was £10. I'll try and take him out of the box so that you can see him a little bit better and see what the size of him looks like. He's very reflective as well, so you might see the camera in the reflection. So this is what he looks out of the packaging. 
it honestly does look like the actual lamp like rub it and the genie will come out i'm so impressed with this i don't think i'd use it as a teapot i don't use mrs potts as a teapot i just use them for display only so if any of you are looking for aladdin if you love aladdin and an aladdin inspired room or lamp or homeware then Primark is the place to go because at the minute they are killing it. So for size comparison with the lamps I will show you the difference. So you've got the small money box and the lamp, the normal one, it's very big. The lid of this one comes off and this is what it looks like inside. And that is the lamp. It does actually look really cool. Like if you were going to have an afternoon tea themed party with your friends or for a birthday party, these things are great and they're only £10. So as well as having the lamps and the frame, they also bought out a genie cushion. It's something that I've just noticed on this Aladdin teapot is it actually says Aladdin underneath. Because so I was thinking, oh, anyone could think this just was a normal random lamp. But it actually says Aladdin on it. It looks like it's stuck on with a sticker, but I'll try and show you. I don't know if it will focus because it's quite small and like see-through. You could just about see that but yeah it says aladdin on it guys so it's official aladdin lamp not just a random lamp that you just randomly got in your house it's just a big cushion of the face of the genie it's huge and it's super soft i didn't get that because i didn't need it it doesn't really go with my room but there is a picture of it on my instagram as usual if you want to go check it out the link is below that pretty much sums it up for everything i got in march from primark it turns out that i got a lot i wasn't wasn't really planning on getting any of the merch but as soon as i see it i cannot resist it like other disney fans i see something that's disney a film that i like and i just have to go for it even if i don't need it i don't know what i'm going to do with it if any of you have any suggestions for things like what to do with them what you guys do with them where you put them in your house then let me know. I mean, if I have children in the future, these things will be great. My kids would love them. If I was a kid now, I'd be in awe, especially of the lamp. Like, I so wanted the lamp when I was little. I thought it was real. So, yeah, if you guys have got any of the collection, let me know. Most of the stuff that you've seen is from Primark My Arch. I know people do ask me that. Um, they had a lot of the money boxes in there if you still wanted the money box. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. And thanks for watching. Bye.